and day two of tip tank install is complete. We made some progress, a little slow at first because trying to read drawings and make the things accurate and riveting and having a rivet issue with a rivet gun not working and trying a new one and just lots of slowness at the beginning of the day. But towards the end, we got our brackets installed for the vent lines and we have the rivet plates, the stiffeners are in. So let me show you that. So today included cutting out the access port so you can put your hand in there and tighten all these nuts which is going to be so fun doing that uh, we got all the rivet plates installed after we spray painted them so those are all set and secure in there had to do one two and then we've also drilled out and marked our vent line because the tip tank extends about here and we have a vent line that comes in there i'll show you the other side mm, donut So here's another view of that same situation. We've got rivet plates in there. We've got the access hole cut. We have the hanger for the vent line, which is this thing drying right there. And there's the other plate in there. So we'll dial that all in and start seeing how that fits on with the uh, tip tanks. And we also ended up cutting the end ribs. I think that's what the drawings call them. So we had to snap off that little back piece and they say to oval out and take out some other stuff so we'll see if we want to do that or if we actually have to that's about it
I was going this way, I couldn't really see, so you go that way. So you can watch it, so it needs to be trimmed just a little bit. I'm just saying it'll be easy. Yep. See that? And then you're running your Clicos too. Yeah, you're fine. 